Hey Sketchmaster family and welcome to another episode of Sketchmaster. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications so you never miss a video. We're going to go ahead and continue our uh, logos and symbols series today. I believe this is going to be about video number four uh, if, we, if I lump them all together. Uh, this is not going to be a superhero logo. This is actually going to be for uh, it's going to be a sports logo, sports team logo, uh, college logo, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm actually uh, in my home state here, Arkansas, uh, and our mascot and our state logo, if you will, our sports team, is the Razorbacks. So this is for all my Razorback fans out there. We're going to draw the Arkansas Razorback. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be one of the more difficult drawings to do, and you'll soon see why. It's going to be a little bit more elaborate than some of the other things I've drawn so far. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is draw a circle here. And this is actually going to be a, a series of circles. Okay, and then this one here. This will actually help to keep the detail in check. Just like that. Okay, and this is going to be another circle. Right about there. Just like that. So this is where the ears are gonna lay. And the other one's gonna be right about here. This is going to be where the snout sets. This is going to be more of a... Uh, goodness, I forgot my shapes. Just kidding. It's going to be more like a square, maybe rectangle type shape here. It's going to come out right about there. And then... We're going to actually have a... an oblong type oval here. All right, just like that. Cut this down. Bring it up a little bit and out. And we're gonna have kind of a pouty lip in a way that kind of sits here. All right, so that is the uh, bulk of the drawing. Let's go ahead and add some detail. And right now all we're really doing is outlining the uh, main lines that we want to use. These ears are going to kind of curve inward. So even if you're not from Arkansas, you should uh, if you follow sports at all or colleges at all, you should know the uh, Arkansas Razorback logo. All right. So you don't necessarily even have to be a fan 
of the Razorbacks. You'll notice that the uh, cheek actually starts to come down this way and fades into the legs. Just like that. All right, and so where we set the uh, first circle here, or one of the first circles toward that side, is actually where this here is going to be the bottom, actually, of the eye. So it's not going to be where... the actual I begins. It's going to be where it actually ends. Okay, just like that. I don't know if that's any better. Okay. And then from there, we're going to be drawing another tooth that kind of sits in this vicinity. It's going to spiral up towards the eye. That's why I raised that eye. I forgot the other tooth. And then this here comes out and in then out again just like that and basically what that is is going to be more teeth two sharp teeth just like that you can actually color that in we're done with that area and then here we've got three sharp teeth Just like that. And you can color in around it. For obvious reasons, when I trace the outline today, we're not going to use a marker. There's a lot of uh, nooks and crannies uh, and details of this uh, sketch that I want to make sure we capture. Okay. And right now all I'm doing is really adding detail. So this started here, this circle did. Like I said, remember this is where our eye is going to sit. So it's going to come right down in this area. Comes up. Almost in like a football shape. And it's going to come in again. This is going to be his socket. Just like that. And then he's got an eyebrow that's going to come down over the top that narrows. This comes out. So that points. And this is going to be kind of pointed as well. Just like that. Okay. And then he's got a little pupil that sits right here with one single highlight. 
just like that. And then he's got, I guess this is like an anger mark maybe. Or maybe just a shadow on his head. I'm not quite sure. This becomes spikes. Or actually, hair, I'm sorry. That looks spiky. And stops just like that. Okay. So that's the front side of our razor back. Just like that. Now, this is where the detail of the legs come in. So this here is going to be mostly shadow, just kind of trace this edge and then do the same thing again and just follow it, follow the same line and then color that space in, okay? And then here we've got another shadow type, it's going to follow the same pattern of the cheek line. We're just going to stop right here. I'm just going to go one curve, two curves, and it comes up. And then here we got multiple curves, which is the uh, muscular or musculature of the uh, of the face. Just like that. Okay, so you should have something that looks similar to this. And then from there, we're going to follow up. And this is where, this is one leg area. Comes up, just like that. Now this leg is actually going to come over, because he's running right about there and stops just like that okay this is the muscular part of this leg and if you follow the correct contours of the guidelines here the shadow actually fits in perfect with that contour of those guidelines just like that. Yep. And then the hoof will come in just like this. It's going to come out kind of far. This part's going to sweep in. And when it gets right about there, it's going to come back out this way and make a point. And then we got one triangle highlight follows the same contours of this line just like that okay and then we're going to follow this line back down the leg actually points out this way and then comes back in, narrows, and then comes up. This is going to be his backside here. Okay. And then right here, we're going to come back out, come in, follow this down. To a little curve here. And then we get a small shadow that comes right beside his backside. Right here. Now, this is going to be kind of a tricky but fun type shadow because you're just going to do little triangles. Go all the way down to get right to there. Stop. 
then it's going to become little curves again. Just like that. And then it's going to become triangles. Stops. Goes straight and follows that line. Just like that. You get right there to the hoof. And it's going to become triangles again. Okay. Just like that. And then you got a couple of round sides. And you're going to color all that in. That shadow. Now keep this line going this way. And then come around to the back side of that shadow. And go right next to the leg. Follow that same pattern. And then when you get to right there, connect all that shadow. Now you can kind of understand why <laughs> I don't want to use the marker to color this in. I feel like I'll lose some of the detail. There we go. Okay. Now to this part of the that shadow. I'm just going to follow that same line shape. And then come down and make a smaller triangle, triangular type line. Come back out. And right here, where this part of the muscle is, you can see that there is another shadow. And again, if you follow those same highlights or guidelines, you'll find that the shadow lines up perfectly once again. Okay. And then this actually comes down a little lower. Stops right about there. And this shadow comes up higher. Alright, so that's that part. And there's a, just a line here for a shadow. And then the tail is actually going to come out. It's going to look kind of like a flame. And it goes just like that. Okay. One small line. Another small line. And that's the toe. Alright, just about done. And now what we'll do is there is one shadow, again, if you follow these guidelines, right about here, there, is where we're going to draw the other shadow. Okay? And it's going to be, looks like a mini lightning symbol. It goes out like that. In, in, out, out, in, and then you're going to step right short of that little area there and color that part in. And you got the little lightning type shadow. And now we'll come up here Sorry, I forgot the shadow here. I'm going to do just follow this same pattern right next to that same line. I'm going to make a small shadow line. Okay, just like that. And then when we come over here to the leg next to the foot, we're going to make some hair marks. Just like that. And then there's another small shadow. Now you don't have to put all these shadows in. And it will look just fine without them. But I like to because it puts more detail into the uh, drawing itself. And it looks like we got a, a mark here right around the mouth. Okay. All right. And then 
let's see, the last shadow I think we have, yep, it's going to be right up here. So this is the, the back of the Razorback. And what we're going to do here is with the same way like we did over here, we're going to follow that same pattern. And it's going to be hair, spiky type hair. Now it doesn't matter how many you put in, just make sure you follow all the way down. And it's basically just a zigzag type pattern. All the way down to get right about there. There you go. And then we got one more, looks like shadow. And it's going to be on a straight here. And it's going to follow the same line pattern as above. And then you'll notice it actually starts to get smaller right here. And then it stops. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the sketch lines in there because I think it looks cooler that way. I'll locate my pen here. Let's give this guy some, some life. You don't necessarily have to color in the, the shadow. It looks kind of different that way. But if you do, it looks cool that way too. So there's different ways to experiment with this uh, drawing. I'm personally going to color in these shadows. Just because I like the way it looks. the hoof there I'm going to use uh, the crosshatch pattern This is probably the biggest shadow here on this side. But as complicated as the Razorback is to draw shadows and all, 
It's probably one of my favorite things to draw. And just like that, I know this is going to be one of my longer drawings. So guys, let me know in the comments below, do you, would you rather me do like a, a real-time type drawing like this, or would you rather me do like a time lapse so you don't have to... Now listen to, to me jabbering on. Let me know in the comments below. Or if you enjoy this, I don't mind doing it. I, I like it. Basically, you get to uh, join me and we draw together. Or if you don't draw together, that's cool too. If you'd rather just watch me do it. Just like that. It's not too terribly long, I guess. Still just at a half an hour. We're coming up on the end here. I typically can draw pretty quick. When I'm not explaining uh, what I'm doing. So if you guys would like to see how quick I can draw something, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested to see what kind of videos you guys would like me to uh, do. You don't have to give a, a subject, like I said. Uh, But if you do want to follow me on Facebook, I got all the artwork that I've done uh, over the years there. There we go. Go ahead and hold it up to the light here for you guys to see. To the camera, I'm sorry. There you have it, the Arkansas Razorback. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications so you never miss a video. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, Sketchmaster Inner Circle. Uh, and again, for a one-time fee of two dollars, you can actually request me to draw you things personally. Uh, you can also request for me to do certain things via YouTube video tutorials.
that's going to be it for this video. I believe that was video number four. If we, like I said, we lump all this into one series. Uh, and make sure you stay tuned to the next one. We're going to be drawing, actually drawing the Spring Doe Bulldog, which is another, uh, it's actually a high school in the state that I'm in. And if, if you guys would like me to draw your high school uh, sports team logo, drop it in the comment below. I'd be happy to even see what it looks like. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys say. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one. And as always, thanks and God bless.